When two acclaimed investors take opposite positions as insiders in a company, one of them is going to get burned. In the case of Occidental Petroleum, we're seeing Warren Buffett and Carl Icahn, two preeminent investors of our day, go at it in a heads-on battle. Welcome to the first episode of the InsiderSentiment.com stock series, where we find interesting occurrences from the world of insider trading and do a deeper dive. Today we're talking about Occidental Petroleum, trading on the New York Stock Exchange as Oxy. If you'd prefer to see this information as an article, you can check out the link to our blog post in the description below. Something unusual is happening inside the boardroom at Oxy Petroleum. You see, normally a public company's insiders make trades more or less that agree with each other. So when two prominent Oxy insiders, Warren Buffett and Carl Icahn, made large insider trades in opposite directions, it sets the stage for a battle between them. Who's got the right intel and who's going to come out on top? We'll investigate and give our best guess. So first, we'll give a little background. Occidental has three business segments, oil and gas, chemical, and midstream and marketing. And just reading from the 10K here, the oil and gas segment explores for, develops, and produces oil, which includes condensate, NGL, and natural gas. In terms of revenues, in the most recent quarter, quarter three, 2023, the oil and gas segment had about 5.6 billion in revenues, so that's the biggest segment. And the next biggest one, chemical, had 1.3 billion, approximately. Overall, in 2022, most recent annual filing, we see 36.6 billion in total revenue, 19 billion in cost of revenue, which gives a gross profit of 17.6 billion. We'll also talk about the stock price history. So this is the five year stock price activity. And you can see during the COVID period, the stock price fell and bottomed out around a little bit below $10. And since then it's recovered and it's just been bouncing back and forth between 60 and over 70. And at the time of this recording is about 59. And lastly, I'll just touch on the analyst ratings. So uh, right now there are 10 buy ratings, one overweight, 16 hold, and one sell. Let's now briefly touch on the oil production numbers Oxy's working with. Again, in the 2022 10K, Oxy spent about $5 billion in costs. These are oil and gas property acquisition, exploration, and development activities costs. And what did this get them? Let's jump around. And we can see that this added about 305 million barrels of oil to their approved reserves. And in total, at the year end 2022, they had about 3.8 billion barrels of oil in approved reserves. And of that, they produced 423 million barrels of oil. So if we do a little bit of a napkin calculation, we can say that if they don't discover any more oil reserves at the current rates they're producing, they can produce for another nine years. We'll come back to this figure later in the video. But now let's take a look at the trading activity of Occidental Petroleum's insiders, including Warren Buffett and Carl Icahn. So let's go over to insiderstentiment.com and I'm here on the firm specific insider trades tab. And to investigate Oxy, I'm going to put Oxy in the uh, drop down menu here. And that's going to load this chart. And basically, we're looking at the stock price going back to the beginning of 2021 in green. And that corresponds to the right y axis. And on the left y axis, we have daily shares traded, which are these bars coming up from the x axis here. And the blue bars are going to be purchases, and the red bars are going to be the sales. So let's refine this a little bit. We just want to look at the two insiders in question right now. So I'm going to start with Carl Icahn. And we can see that he made these trades here in spring of 2021. And these are pretty serious trades. This is about 15 million shares in total that he sold. 
So let's compare that to Warren Buffett. And you can see he started purchasing in spring 2022, so basically a year after Carl Icahn. And initially he made some very large purchases, but you can see that he's been purchasing consistently up until basically very recently. And we can go ahead and see how many shares he's purchased. So almost 200 million shares. So you can see that Warren Buffett's purchases are related to his long-term outlook in the company because he's consistently making purchases over time. Now let's discuss the fundamental analysis of Oxy to see if it appears overpriced or underpriced, and hence whether it agrees with Warren Buffett or Carl Icahn. I'm just going to skim it here, so see the full write-up on the blog if you're interested in more detail. Here we're using a discounted cash flow analysis. First, let's try to value Oxy by projecting 2022 results out. 2022 was a good year for Oxy with 41% sales growth. If we project 41% down to 3% over 10 years, that gives a valuation of $1,000 per share approximately. Remember, Oxy is trading at around $60 currently. Let's try something a little more realistic. If we use the average of the last five years instead of just 2022, we start with a 22.3% sales growth rate and we bring that down to 3% over 10 years. Now the warranted stock price is $482. Still high, but better than before. Now let's see what it would take to derive the current market price. In order to get the recent price of $60, we would need at least negative 20% sales growth, or worse, every year for the next 10 years. Clearly, this is unrealistic. Finally, let's try a worst case scenario. Imagine Oxy stops exploring and never finds any more oil reserves. As we discussed earlier, they'd sell out of oil in nine years, producing at current rates. If we set sales to zero in nine years, the absolute worst case scenario their warranted stock price is now $101. This worst case scenario makes their current price of 61 seem too low. Lastly, before we say who we think will win the insider battle, we should discuss trends for future demand for oil, since Warren Buffett has commented on this recently regarding whether or not he thinks electric vehicles will overtake internal combustion engine vehicles, which of course drive the demand for oil. If you want to see that discussion, check out the blog post in the description. Okay, it was probably not that hard to guess, but we think Warren Buffett will come out on top, correct in his long-term outlook for Oxy based on the factors we discussed here. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button as that helps us out a lot, and subscribe for more videos like this. Catch you next time.